Good morning. First, our main story, the scale of the abuse carried out by Jimmy Savile in NHS hospitals will be revealed later this morning in a series of reports. More than 100 people came forward to give evidence to the inquiries. The Health Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, is expected to apologise on behalf of the NHS for what happened. Here's our health correspondent, Bramwyn Jeffries. Jimmy Savile, family entertainer and serial sexual offender. He used his fame to raise money for NHS hospitals and his celebrity status to gain access as a volunteer, helping out as a porter and sometimes on the wards. Now the NHS faces questions about the access it gave Savile. More than 100 people have come forward to give evidence to these inquiries, sharing details of sexual assaults or inappropriate behaviour. Lawyers say too often warning signs were overlooked because he was such an important fundraiser for the organisation and in some cases people were literally laughed off by members of staff. And these were children, some of whom did try and tell their parents and their parents just could not believe that someone as famous as Savile would have behaved in this way. Savile was also given an official role by the NHS at Broadmoor he led a task force at the High Security Psychiatric Hospital. So did his fame blind some parts of the NHS to the risks? Today, the Health Secretary is expected to acknowledge mistakes and apologise to those the Health Service had a duty to protect, but who instead were exposed to a sexual predator. Brownman Jeffries, BBC News. Curbs on mortgage lending could be recommended by the Bank of England today to control the housing market.